And he's going to come back, inshallah. So if someone says, Isa, Jesus is alive, say, yes, he is. Oh, but you're a Muslim. No, but he's alive, yeah. Oh, but you're a Muslim. Say, yes. Yes. He was not harmed. He was not killed. He was not crucified. Allah, the creator of creation, took him up alive. Subhanallah, Rabbil Alameen. May Allah grant us an understanding. This is the protection of Allah. This is why I say, you want the protection of Allah. There are verses of the Quran, Ayatul Kursi, like I said, and a few of the other verses, they are called al muawwidat You know, al muawwidatan it means the two surahs, if you were to read them, they will actually help you to be protected from Allah, meaning by Allah from shaitan. Allah will protect you. And we don't read those surahs. قُلْ أَعُوذُ بِرَبِّ الْفَلَقِ مِنْ شَرِّ مَا خَلَقِ وَمِنْ شَرِّ غَاسِقٍ إِذَا وَقَبْ وَمِنْ شَرِّ النَّفَّاثَاتِ فِي الْعُقَدْ وَمِنْ شَرِّ حَاسِدٍ إِذَا حَسَدْ Protection from jealousy, protection from black magic, protection from the darkness, from the evil that happens in the dark. You know, in the dark a lot of evils happen. I, you know, when I was little I used to wonder why do they call it a nightclub? Why do they call it a nightclub? They don't call it a day club, afternoon club, morning club. No. Because it's only at that time when Rasulullah says after Isha, if you don't have anything constructive to do, go to bed. That's the time shaitan comes out in the dark. So we say, oh Allah, protect me from the evil of the darkness. When it's dark, you need to save me from this darkness. A nightclub, nightclub. If you, can re if you can go to bed at night, inshallah, there's no morning club, there's no afternoon club, nothing else. May Allah grant us goodness. But we don't read those surahs, we don't know the meaning of it, and those are the short, beautiful surahs. Qul a'udhu bi rabbin nas, malikin nas, ilahin nas. O oh Allah, the, oh the, the creator of mankind, the king or the owner of mankind, and subhanallah, the lord of mankind, protect us from the evil of the same mankind. And protect us from the evil of jinn kind and mankind. Protect us from the waswas that happens. The devil that causes the evil thoughts within the hearts of man. Someone sees you, wallahi, they see you in a good condition, smelling good. They are burning because the scent is a little bit too sweet for them to afford. Doesn't it happen? Doesn't it happen they see you roll up in your Lamborghini? Mashallah, Urus. What do they call it? And instead of anything, they just look at you and they are burning within. They can't stomach it. Why? Why? That's waswas il khannas. Even worse, it's hasad on one hand, and on the other hand, it's shaitan going round in your heart. Your heart is not protected, my brother. Don't stretch your eyes to look at what Allah's given other people, because it's not going to benefit you in any way. You're going to burn. And that burning, imagine they call it burning. You know why? It literally is burning. They could have used a better word for that, right? They say, brother, stop burning. Don't they? Well, mind you, it could even be a sister. Stop burning. Why is why burning? There was no fire there because it's inside. It eats you up. It already shows you such a negative word. If it was a good thing, they would have said, wow, stop cooling. You know, there's nothing like that. It's not cool at all. There's no coolness in it. Coolness is when you say, mashallah, alhamdulillah, brother, I'm so happy for you. May Allah bless you with more. And the angels are saying, may Allah bless you with more too because you made a dua for your brother. You made a dua for someone else. So we're going to make that dua for you. Don't you want that? That is now cool, calm. I'm happy. I'm happy for you. Are you really happy for others when they're doing better than you? If you are, you're a winner. The minute you're jealous because others are doing better than you, you need help. Because it's going to take you over. Inna al-hasada ya'kulu al-hasanat kama ta'kulu al-nar al-hatab. The hadith says, jealousy eats away at the good deeds, similar to the fire, when it eats away a dry log. If jealousy eats your good deeds, imagine what it does to you as a person. 